Hi, and welcome to this FONAF Coffee Break. My name is René Bremont. I'm a product specialist at FONAF, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today we're going to explain the Business Central report layouts. We have often spoken about how FONAF makes report editing easier. Power users and functional consultants can easily edit reports with FONAF. Tasks that require a developer for normal Business Central reports are quite easy with FORNAV. You can get data from anywhere in Business Central, for instance, without writing a single line of code. However, knowing how FORNAV reports are built up helps here. What can you edit and where and why is useful to know. Today, we will have a look at the report layouts. What are they, where are they stored and what can you do with them? To explain the Business Central report layouts, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will explain what report layouts are and where they are stored. In step three, I will create a new report layout. In step four, I will explain where you can use the report layouts. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be working in a Business Central on-premise server with the Business Central 2024 Wave 1 release. I have installed the FORNAV customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Some of the FORNAV features I will demonstrate today will only be available in Business Central 2023 Wave 2 or above and FORNAV version 7.3.0.10 or above. The way report layouts work is similar on all the versions. I have installed and set up the FORNAV designer. You can download the FORNAV designer from the FORNAV website. And of course, everything I do today will also work in a cloud environment. The creation of Business Central reports starts with an extension. Every report inside an extension consists of two parts, the AL or code file and the layout file. The AL file contains all the metadata and code to get data from the database and to iterate over your dataset. It also contains your request page and all the code you need for the running of your reports. The layout file contains all the information that FORNAV needs to render the report. All of the text boxes, labels, barcodes and images. But also, in some cases, information on how to get related data from your database. The main difference between standard Business Central reports and FORNAV reports is that the FORNAV layout object is far more advanced than the standard Business Central Word or RDLC layouts. Things that in normal Business Central reports need to be done in, a in the AL code can be done in the FORNAV layout files. These extension files are uploaded into Business Central. There are two types of extension, those you have and those you do not have control over. If you create your own extension, you control it. You can change the report code and the layout as much as you like and republish it every time you make a change. There are also extensions that are published by Microsoft or by independent software vendors like FORNAV. These are pre-packaged extensions that you do not have control over. Therefore, you cannot change the report code and layout. This is an obvious disadvantage. Extensions are typically created and installed by developers or technical consultants. Of course, not being able to edit reports is a huge disadvantage. It is the reason why in the past most custom reports had to be created by developers as new report objects. Some time ago, Microsoft created custom report layouts as a way of customizing reports. These are customized report layout files that are stored in the Business Central database. The main advantage of these layouts is that you don't need to open an extension and work with Visual Studio Code to change your reports. In Business Central 2024 Wave 1, Microsoft have moved these custom layouts to a new report layouts table. These report layouts are a standard feature in Business Central and are available for any Business Central report. As we discussed earlier, report layout files for FORNAV reports are far more advanced than the standard report layout files. That means that with FORNAV reports, you rarely need to create new report extensions. If you have a FORNAV base report, then most customizations can be done inside the report layout. In the next steps, we will look at where these custom layouts are stored and how you can edit them. Now we know how Business Central reports are built up, we can start customizing them. Let's have a look at where Business Central stores these report layouts. Like I said, in BC24, the report layouts have been moved to a new table. In BC23 and below, you can find the report layouts in the custom report layouts table. So let's go and open Business Central. 
Let's go and have a look at the new report layouts table. You will notice that both the report layouts and the custom report layouts are in the system. And as I said, in BC24 and above, the custom report layouts are no longer used. So we'll move to the report layouts, and I'm going to just filter this by invoice. Saves us browsing about. And we'll notice right here that we have the standard Microsoft Sales invoice, which has a bunch of layouts and it has a bunch of layouts that are in an extension like the base application by Microsoft and it also also has one layout that I've created myself which is a uh, which is a new layout you will notice that is not in any uh, in any extension uh, I can act I can activate one of these and if I activate one of these one of these layouts then that is the layout that the report uses by default I can activate any one that I want and you need to be aware that these layouts in this page are only available for this company. So if I open this, uh, this layout and edit the information, you can see that this layout is available in every company. If I create a layout that is only available in this company, I won't be able to see it in any other company. In any other company, it will look like that layout does not exist. I cannot see it, I cannot select it. And of course, that's the standard Microsoft reports. I also have the uh, the four and a half invoice. We'll be looking at that later on. And that invoice has the uh, the custom the uh, built-in layout, uh, which is in the customizable report pack extension. Like we said, uh, that's the built-in one that four and a half creates for you. And it has a layout to create an email body, which is the default email body layout that uh, four and a half creates automatically. So that's the report layouts page. If we open the Fornav reports, you will find that if I open the invoice, we have a new page. And in that new page, I can uh, maintain and edit all of my report layouts. And you can see that right now we have two layouts in the system. And they are both layouts that are available in every company. You will see that I cannot delete either of them. Uh, because they are both uh, system layouts that should not be deleted. I can design the email body layout, but I can't design the built-in layout because again, that is inside the uh, inside the 4NAV extension and I don't have access to change that. Of course, if I do want to create a new extension or if I want to change the layout for this, re for this report, I can just create a copy of the built-in layout which creates a new four and a half custom layout. And if I drill down into that, you can see um, that I can change stuff. I can give it a new description. And I will say this is the new orange layout for AS only. And then as you might have guessed, I will add, I will link that to the Kronos Denmark AS company in my system. I can close that one. Um, and you will see that in my report layout. So now I have a new layout that's connected to the Kronos Denmark. Obviously I can design that. I want to change the, the way the, the layout looks. Let's reset this bit from the template. And I said this was going to be the orange layout. So that's going to be orange. Save that one, close, go back to Business Central. And if I preview this layout, you will see that this report uh, layout is now orange. And that gives me a new layout uh, specifically for the Kronos Denmark. If I want to create a layout for another company, uh, then of course I can do that. I can just copy the layout I have, drill down into it. Uh, I want this for Kronos Denmark only. I will call this my green layout and design it from here. Change this one obviously to green. Uh, save it and go back to Business Central. Preview this one. There we go, this one is now green. And this is of course a major difference with the built-in report layouts page. As I said, the built-in report layouts page will never display this green layout. Let's go and have a look at what that looks right now. Filter it on invoice again. 
you will see this one only has the built-in, uh, the orange layout and the layout to create an email body. For as far as this page concerns, uh, the layout that I've created for a different company doesn't exist. Obviously, when I work with Fornav reports, I want to know what's in the system because I may want to uh, copy bits and bobs from those layouts and I don't want to switch from company to company. And finally, of course, I can create another layout and delete the company name altogether. And I will make this my yellow layout and design this one and big surprise make it yellow and save that one and now I have a layout in my system that is yellow and is only available uh, and is available in every company inside Business Central. Like I said you cannot edit the built-in layout because that is embedded inside the extension we can edit the Fornav email layout because that is actually a custom layout that was installed automatically by Fornav. I can't delete it. Um, and if I edit it right here, you can see that I can't edit the description or the, the layout name uh, and I can't change the company, but I can design it. And you can see that this one is already orange, so it's, uh, it's already changed. And of course, I can copy my email layout. I will call that one green email and make that only for Kronos Denmark. And if I design this one, obviously I can make this one green. There we go. So that's how you would create a bunch of custom report layouts in your, uh, in your Business Central system. You can see that I cannot edit the built-in layout, but I can copy it. And copying it creates these new custom layouts that I can all make uh, slightly different from one another. And I can use them in different companies and I can block them for use in other companies than the ones I've created them for. Now finally, we can choose which layout we will use in which situation. And typically the layout you choose in the report layouts page is the layout that is used, unless you override that layout for a specific use case. And what do I mean with that? Well, let's say right now um, we've previewed this report, so I can preview this orange layout. And you will also notice that it uses the orange layout. If I actually run this report, however, so I just run it from uh, from the Forna report page. You will notice it is still using the built-in layout. So I haven't told BC yet which layout is the default and which one I want to use by default. Obviously, I want to do that. So what I can do inside uh, my layouts page is to activate a certain layout, which means that in the below page, the activated layout, you can see that Kronos Denmark AS is green and it uses the and it uses for its default report layout uh, the orange layout. If I use choose a layout in another company, I cannot activate it because I cannot use this layout in this specific company. It's simply not available. If I do want to change the layout for Kronos Denmark, I can simply drill down in here. And you can see that this list is filtered only for layouts that I can actually use in Kronos Denmark. So the Kronos Denmark AS layouts are filtered out. I can choose nothing, in which case uh, for now I'll always use the built-in layout. I can choose the built-in layout, so I can say use the built-in layout. In that case, for now I'll also use the built-in layout. Or I can use any layout that is available right here. So that's how I would, that is how I would change the, uh, the built-in layout. If I now run the report, you will see that we're in Kronos Denmark AS, so I'm using the orange layout. So that's one thing. However, if I go to my posted sales invoices and print one of the invoices, you can see it is trying to reuse uh, report 1306, uh, which doesn't appear to have a valid layout which may be correct. It's not a four and a half report, so I'm not really that bothered about it. But I do want to tell Business Central to start using my report and my layout in this case. And I can do that in the report 
selections sales so open the report selection sales and I can choose the usage in this case it's the invoice I want to change and I can change that at the moment is 1306 and I'm going to change that to the invoice and then I can choose two more things now um, Business Central will print the invoice with the with the report layout that is currently selected I can change the report layout that is currently selected. So let's say that for the sale, posted sales invoices, I always want to use the yellow layout. And for the email body layouts, I'm going to choose the four and a half email, the layout to create an email body. Which means that in my sales invoices, if I print my report now, you will see it is using my four and a half report and it's using the yellow report even though I have told Business Central to use the orange as the default and that's because I have overridden the default layout with the layout that I have selected in my report selection sales. And since this button uses the report that is selected in the report selection sales, it is using that layout as well. Of course, we may want to send this invoice by email and then you will see that I have the, the orange lay email layout that I've created and selected is used for my email layout body. Finally, uh, not entirely finally yet, let's go and have a look at our Fournav reports first. You will notice that right now we have added the report selections for the sales invoice. And this is also added in the activated layout. So in the 4NAV report, you can actually see that uh, for the report selection sales invoice, we use the report layout uh, number three, which above you can see is the yellow layout and we use the 4NAV email for the email layout body. Now, finally, uh, you can also per customer override the report selection. If I open the customer, I have an option called document layouts. And in these document layouts for the invoice, I can choose a separate report ID so we can override which report is going to be used. I will add an email address. I will say use this for the email body. Then I can choose an email body layout and the email attachment layout. Now let's use the built-in layout for the email attachment for this specific customer. And that is how you would override your email, uh, your uh, sales report selection for a specific customer. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to discuss how Business Central reports work, what you can change and where. We discovered that we could create new customized layout files without having to create new extensions for these reports. We found that with Fornav we can create new report layouts for our reports. With this technology we can create as many report layouts as we want for a variety of use cases, email bodies, separate layouts for, se for specific customers and much more. Please be aware that these report layouts behave differently in Business Central version 23 and up. This is caused by Microsoft move to the new report layouts table. Thank you very much for listening to me so far. I can see we have no questions, so I will wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornav, or if you want to download the Fornav Designer and Converter, please visit our website. If you want to install Fornav in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about Fornav on our YouTube channel, and if you have any questions about Fornav, please email them to support at fornav.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornav.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for joining me today. Goodbye.